when Gotta Be took off, man, with that being the first hit to go on ahead and go out of there, what was that experience like for y'all when you realized that, okay, now we are in the game, mm. we got a hit song, and folks is respecting our mind and grind? Right, man. It felt like, um, like I said, it felt like sky is the limit. You mm. know what I mean? It felt like, I think so. So many times when you young and black and you in the hood, like you, you don't know where it's gonna come from. Yeah. You know what I mean? You praying yeah. your ass off, like, yeah. but you don't really know where that break is gonna come from. So it's like when you get something and it starts to look like it's gonna turn into something. First thing you feel is apprehension. Ooh. Like you know what I mean? Is it real? Yeah. You know what I mean? And how do I approach it to, to to the point that? It don't start running away from me, you yeah. know what I mean. So those is a, it's a lot of thoughts of uh, intrepidation, you know, mm -hmm. the fear of losing it. Exactly, those are real at first. Like like especially as soon as you get to the point where you seeing some money for the first time. Yeah, that money feel good, <laughs> and you start thinking like, damn, what's gonna happen if I can't get to this money? Exactly. So a lot of times at first, when you first hit, I think. The success and the good memories and good times, it still kind of played a little bit by yeah. the fear of losing it. You know what I mean? What was it like when you seen that money, man? And how did your <laughs> life change and mind change at that time? Man, you know, I, I think we, see, we was the type of dudes that we try to take the homies every fucking way. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And that shit milk up your money. That's you know right. That's right. But at first, it's great because it's like, I don't want to go all these places, experience all these things by myself. Yeah, you know, and not and when you're in a four man group, you're not really by yourself. Yeah, but at the same time, it might not be that homie you grew up with from the time you was eight years old. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So for us, we knew that we wanted to share the experience. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And a lot of that, you know, you know, we took that shit on the chin because. Just like even in Atlanta, we would show up to, you know, we might be doing a party with AG or something. Mm -hmm. We show up 40 deep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, then it, so then it becomes a problem getting your own people into your own party. Yeah. So next thing you know, now you beefing with AG. Now oh, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so it was a lot of things we could have done better. A lot of yeah. things we could have done probably more responsibly, but our whole mindset was that let everybody feel this shit. You exactly. know what I mean? My house was an open door for a lot of niggas. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because of that same mentality. Like, let, like, let everybody come and get a, a feel of this, exactly. a piece of this shit. Yeah. So now y'all in the game heavy, man. From the outside, those nine months of grinding, trying to figure it out and all that practicing and stuff, to now you in the game and y'all going hard and going strong. What was the main differences that you saw? Was the game everything that you dreamt it would be or did it turn out to be a little something more wilder? Both. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> because I would say initially it was wilder. Ooh. Because we came, like, and, I, you know, I think we was real honest um, on our unsung about this. We came in the game and we hanging with legends off the top. And yeah. Jermaine wasn't like, he wasn't the type of dude who signed us and, was, and kept us at arms. You know what I mean? Yeah. He had us with him. Everywhere yeah. he went, we was. You know what I mean? And that was... That fuck your head up because you start realizing, <laughs> you start thinking like that treatment is yours. Yeah, but that's that's his and that's Brax. And that, so then you start when it's time for you to go out on your own, you act in a certain way already. Yeah, and you almost turning people off and rubbing people the wrong way. And we did a lot of that. And you know, through the grace of God, we was able to have the type of records that made people had to say, "Well, let's reconsider how we feel about Jagged Edge." Yeah. You know yeah. So that's the only thing probably saved us, to be honest with you. What was it like hobnobbing with all of them legends and stuff and being in those rooms, man? Man, you got to think. Most of these people you grew up idolizing, you yeah. know what I mean? And it's like all of a sudden, they know you by first name. I go. <laughs> Just because you associated with this man right here. Exactly. That's why nobody never hear me say nothing bad about Jermaine Dupree. Jermaine Dupree, one of the greatest men I know. Yeah. And... With all great men, it's some shortcomings, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And But uh, at the end of the day, Jermaine Dupree, one of the greatest dudes I know. He put me in the place. He put me in the rooms of those people that you're speaking of. And and he gave me the type of nod to where they had to pay attention. Yeah. And that's what it is when you fuck with somebody like Jermaine. Yeah. If he walk you in, they got to pay attention. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. That's what he did for us, for sure. Being on So So Deaf at that time, with that label being off the chain, what was that like being a part of a movement that was going crazy? Man, it's it's crazy because 
I still feel that moment to this day. Exactly. Like anytime I see Candy, Tiny, any of any yeah. of us, I still feel that same energy that we yeah. that we had back then. And you know, I think like any sports team, um, you know, to be a part of a team that's winning. Yeah. Of course there's that that point that part of you that wants to brag and like, hey, this us and you know what I mean? But what's more importantly is that you created a legacy mm-hmm. that's going to last beyond you being here. Yeah. And that's probably the, the the biggest, best part is that I moved to a whole city that's like half the country away from where I was born. Yeah. And these people embraced me and loved me. And we was able to do some real special shit that's going to last here beyond us being here. Thanks. So I just, yeah, that's, that's the, the dopest part of it to me.